Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sorrel Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. So if you are new, please do subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Um, what I wanted to talk about in this video today is can anxiety cause aches and pains? And first and foremost, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, I think that a lot of us underestimate the incredible amount of tension and stress that our body goes through when we are feeling anxious, especially chronic anxiety. So I, throughout the years, um, I mean, I haven't had it for a while, but I used to get the most insane aches and pains all over my body. I remember being absolutely convinced that there was something seriously wrong with me. I remember at one point, you know, really believing that I must have like fibromyalgia or something like that, just because of how intense it was. Um, but, you know, as time went on, I started to see a clear pattern that this was happening when I was very stressed um, and it would go away um, when I sort of calmed down again. So for me, I I kind of hold tension in a few different areas. Uh, the jaw seems to be one that, my gosh, like when I'm going through a stressful time, the tension and the pain that I get in my jaw, like and down to my neck is just absolutely immense. But I've also had other kinds of pains too. I've had like sharp shooting pains all over my body. I've woken up and felt like I've genuinely done like a really hardcore workout where, you know, your body like feels like tender to touch, almost like it's bruised. Um, I've had localized pain in like, you know, my calves or um, the back of my neck or my lower back. You know, I've had all sorts of random stuff like that. Um, and, you know, reason being, I think, is that like when we are very, very stressed, I think one of two things happen. Firstly, you know, tension, as I said earlier, like tension we can hold that without even being actively aware that we're doing it. So, you know, when I, for example, was having like jaw pain, it was obviously because I was like clenching my teeth, but I wasn't aware that I was doing it. I didn't feel like I was doing it, but I definitely was. So a lot of us will hold tension in areas of the body. Um, more often than not, it can be um, surrounding the area that we're worried about in the first place. So as an example, um if we're worried about a uh, brain tumor well it's very common to then start getting headaches because you're kind of somaticizing in your head you're holding tension here um and your body will give you pain because it feels like something's wrong um so there's the tension aspect but there's also and this is like another theory that i um have sort of like been reading into recently is that sometimes the body finds it easier to deal with physical pain than mental pain. So that sometimes when somebody's going through something and the brain feels like it can't handle it, it will try to kind of like disperse that pain through the physical body instead. Um, so you see this happen quite a lot. You know, people will go through something, let's just say they lose a loved one or um they go through a divorce or like something like big and life-changing and then the body will react sort of like quite violently um and there's a bit of a theory that that happens because the the body and the brain finds it easier to process physical pain than it does mental pain um but you know all over aches and pains are a common anxiety symptom many many times i've genuinely felt like i'm coming down with the flu and nothing has happened. And it's been purely anxiety based. Um, and I know that it can feel really uncomfortable when it happens and it makes you worry and you start to think about why this is happening, which then causes more tension, more worry. And then the cycle just continues. Um, and that's I remember going to my doctor and just saying, like, I am just in pain. Like, I just I'm in pain. My my bones ache my muscles ache, my joints ache. That was another big thing for me as well, was aching joints. Um, you know, specifically my knees and my ankles, remember thinking that I was definitely headed down rheumatoid arthritis route, but of course I didn't. Um, but stress causes inflammation, inflammation in our joints, in our muscles, everywhere. Um, and, and it's because the body's not designed for long-term chronic stress. It's designed for short bursts of stress. We're supposed to kind of calm down in between these things. But as a human being with these wonderful, beautiful brains, um, we often don't do that. We stay 
chronically anxious and the body's just not really designed for it um and it gets inflamed it causes inflammation and that's going to cause pain and aches and all sorts of weird sensations um so you're not alone if you've been having this you're not alone i've had it many of my health anxiety clients have had it and just people that i know like you know not even people without health anxiety you know people get aches and pains and all sorts of things going on when they're stressed and anxious um so you're definitely not alone i know it's uncomfortable and what you've got to do is break the cycle. So if you're going through this, but you're waking up and you're poking yourself the first thing in the morning, you're Googling, well, then you're going to create more stress. So what you need to do is think to yourself, well, well, I can't just get rid of this pain overnight and I can't stop worrying about it, but I can stop any behaviours that I might be doing that might be contributing to this in the first place. And so you always start there. Start with the things that you can control um remove those and then your nervous system will have a chance to kind of calm down and then once it calms down your symptoms will resolve um but let me know in the comments if you've ever been through this if, if this is something that affects you if you've seen any patterns of when this might happen um I'd love to hear about it I remember you know suffering from this quite badly and it really bothered me um so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful um if you want to find me on Instagram you can do so by using the exact same name Sherelle Thinks I post daily health anxiety reels um and if you are looking to book coaching with me I do have a bit of a wait at the moment of a couple of weeks but click the link in the description of this video um fill out an application form and my PA will get back to you um but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon bye